Hello, I am Quinny. Welcome to the channel, guys. In this video today, we are going to be putting the LA Galaxy under the so rare microscope as we wind up towards Rivalry Week here on the channel. The Galaxy, I've been waiting for them to really pop off and really come into their own since appointing Greg Vanny as manager like last summer. And there's been lots of little green shoots of progress, but there's been lots of little potholes and speed bumps in the road. And, you know, towards our Rivalry Week, some of the noises, some of the the results we're getting, some of the some of the momentum that the club is building, I think maybe we might be there where the Galaxy might really kick off and shine. If you haven't opened your SoRare account yet, there's a video linked in the description in this video that is the number one walkthrough that I've made that will make sure when you open your account, you don't make any beginner mistakes and you maximise all the free items available. If you have any other questions or need any other assistance, just reach out to me in the comments section in this video and I'll get back to you. And if you're just here looking for the link to get the free card once you sign up, that is also in the description in this video. Make sure when you hit the link, you sign up directly to make sure that it correlates and entitles your account to a free limited card. I'll be looking to build the best, the absolute best LA Galaxy stack I possibly can and think about the utility and the best place to be putting that in the SO5 arena. At any point in the video, if you laugh, you learn, you like something or whatever, please do like and subscribe, share, retweet, all that good stuff guys. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch, let's get stuck into it. If you could hit the subscribe button, I do daily global football content. Everything from wonder kids and rising star managers to fantasy football and watch alongs. That will also automatically enter you into my April giveaway. This month, I'm giving away a rare under 23 goalkeeper in the Turkish Superliga, Diego Souza, and two limited goalkeepers. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Now, there is no doubt that Chicharito, Javier Hernandez, is the star player at LA Galaxy. And... For 45 euros, I think you'll be really hard pressed to find a better forward for that price, to be quite honest with you. He's on penalties, he plays all the time, that he's fit, you know, he's a real lead from the front type of player, and he really likes bringing his European credentials into this league as a Mexican international, and he wants to be one of the big players in the league. He wants to puff his chest out, and he wants to really, you know, get the, the kudos that he feels he deserves. For a rare card, you're paying around 336 euros, which I think, again, considering his age, is probably a fair enough price or so. And Chicharito, when he plays, he scores. You know, he's, that's the only thing that holds him back. If he doesn't get a goal, you're on for around 42, 44 points. But because he's on penalties and because the Galaxy are a very attacking team, you know, it... It's just bad luck whenever he doesn't score. It's how you need to look at it. Now, on many metrics, Marky Delgado, or Mark Delgado, as he's now been referred to from this season, is probably the best SO5 card currently in the team. At around €36 Euros for a limited and around just under €300 Euros for a rare, you're getting a midfielder who receives the ball from defence all game long, and that racks up all sorts of points. He is adventurous. He does have a good bit of vision and get a keen eye for a pass. And a guy like that who can play forward balls into pace merchants like Cabral, like Efra Alvarez, like DJ99, Dejan Jovalich, like Grancia. They can become attempted assists. They can become creative, progressive passes. These things all stack up incredible points. The only thing with him is he's not a big decisive guy. So when he does get those decisive actions, a goal or an assist or something, you can see these real big scores, 75s and 80s and such coming in. But more often than not, he is going to be a guy that gets into the 50s for you. And from SO5, sometimes for the midfield card, that's just what you've got to take. For the goalkeeper, I make Jonathan Bond one of the most solid, good bang for buck goalkeepers you can find in the league. He's not spectacular. He's not an international. He's not going to, I don't think he's really going to transfer anywhere. It feels like the Galaxy have signed him for a couple of years. They signed him at 28. He's now 29 to be their number one as long as he doesn't do anything calamitous. And I've not seen anything to this point that would suggest that. At 89 euros for a starting goalkeeper and one of the dominant teams that should qualify for the playoffs and go far, I think he's a stellar option. And at around, you know, six, 700 quid for the rare, again, I think you're getting a great goalkeeper. His scores are good. He can save penalties, he's quite athletic, you know, the Galaxy can concede multiple goals and when that happens, any goalkeeper is going to suffer an SO5. Now there's a lot of different uh, LA Galaxy teams you can actually build, lots of different ones you can have lots of fun with, especially with guys like Efra Alvarez, Cabral, Grandseer. Sega Koulibaly, there's lots of different options for building this team, I just think this is the best one, the safest one of guys that are in good fettle, in good form, play consistently, play regularly, and, you know, price-wise, they're all pretty lean, you know, this whole team is coming in for less than $300, and, as you can see, with the form that the Galaxy have been picking up, this team can get in amongst the cards and really get you shooting up. If you're playing this with rares, thresholds are there for you every week, and if you wanted to tweak it ever so slightly, you could drop Delgado for Alvarez, and Chicharito for somebody like Kevin Cabral, and then this whole team, with the exception of the goalkeeper, could become a U23 stack, which I spoke about on the channel before. But again, the Galaxy is a team that I expect to go far in the playoffs, is a team that I expect to have a really good season, 
and coming into rivalry week against LAFC they're going to want to be laying down a marker with the Bale signing the Chiellini signing hanging over the club maybe the Galaxy are going to go out and make a stellar sign in this transfer window and if they did if you've already got the stack the base components there this team again can mirror a lot of the better teams in MLS and be very competitive in the global arena as well as in Champion America I hope you've enjoyed this one don't forget to like subscribe and share and retweet and all that good stuff guys stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one take care bye bye Let's get into all the giveaway stuff before I let you go. I'm still doing monthly giveaways and I'm making it easier to enter. If you want to be entered to win this month's prize or any future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, you need to be a subscriber to enter, then leave a comment down below. Each month, a random comment from a random video will be selected as the winner, so the more videos you leave a comment on, the better the chance you've got of winning any of my giveaways. All the winners are announced at the end of videos the same way as we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on. As always guys, if you've enjoyed the video today, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. On screen there now is some other stuff that I've made that YouTube thinks you might enjoy. Stay out of trouble and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.